All right, today we got the MTB Pro, the new box in the mail today. And we're gonna take it out and we're gonna do the slam. And if we catch a keeper, hopefully, we're gonna post a picture on Instagram. So today we have Biospawn drop shot baits. Ooh, the Long A Bomber dives like a foot or two. Weighted Mustad hooks with the paddle tail swim bait. Uh, probably a Lou Pencil 98, top water like a spook. Working, it's got a lot of action. And a big spinner bait, BioVex stand gun. Three quarter ounce, really heavy spinner bait. So that's what we have to work today. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Count as four. And five baits to catch fish on today. And so we're gonna try to get the MTB slam done pretty quick because it's really hot out. And uh, if we catch a, if we catch a bass over 14 inches, we're gonna put it on the measurement. Hopefully we can catch one all the way to 18 or 20. But we're gonna throw it on the measurement, post an Instagram, and you guys can check that out on our Instagram page if we do end up catching it. So I think first just tie on the drop shot for you. On your spinning gear, drop shot will work best. So we'll do that. And then I'm gonna start out with I'm gonna throw the spinner bait. Start out with slow, fast. We'll see which one they like the best. Like I said, we're putting this on the spinning gear just because it's easier to work with, a little more sensitive. So all we're gonna do is nose hook it. Like that. Tie that thing on. I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna put just a bullet weight. I'm gonna tie a bullet weight in the bottom because I don't have any drop shot weights right with me. Got the drop shot tied on. It's about 10 inches below it. Should be all right. That's, just, that's our first bait, which Josh is gonna use on the spinning gear. This thing is huge. That's, that's like a three fourths ounce weight. That's gonna be like hard to pull through. Good thing I got like heavy line on. All right, that was the second bait we're gonna use. Big spinner bait. First cast of spinner bait. Oh my god, I got one on the first cast. Are you kidding? I literally just caught one on the first cast with my spinner bait. Oh my lord. A little dink. He was hungry. He was really hungry. I'm not even gonna, like, I wanna catch another one before I untie this thing. Before <laughs> I cut it off and tie another one. You have one? I'm not gonna let that be the only fish I. Uh oh. Josh is on too. Oh god. That was your first cast, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, that's a good news. I think we'll be able to finish this thing. Oh, my God. That's your second cast. Good one. Oh, crap. He's fat. I met him. Ooh, that might be the 14 inch fish already. Even though 14 inches isn't that big, but... Ooh, he's tubby. Oh, it's in the back of his throat. <laughs> he's like 15. 15 and a quarter. All right, you're throwing the little bomber. All right. Little bomber's ready for him. All right, Josh has a new bait on now. He's got the bomber on, the little shallow diver. I'm still doing the spinner bait. I caught a little one on it already, but I kind of want to catch at least one more or at least a bigger one, because I think it will. 
Gotta be one way back in there. A good place to throw the top water. Oh, there's one. No, nope, he got off. Definitely got off. Did you? Yeah. Oh, he spit it. We each just had one that spit it. Oh, there's one. Oh, he's a little one. He's right on that weed line. Little guy again. Dinker. Uh uh. Got the fish in the bomber. Now we have two baits left because I've already technically got this one done. I'll just cut this one off and we'll just do the last two baits. And... Right. I just cut the spinner bait off because I caught my second fish on it. So, and Josh cut the bomber off because he caught his fish on it. Now we're going to our last two baits. We've only been like actually fishing like fishing in the water for how long maybe 20 maybe 20 minutes of actual fishing so i'm tying on the weighted hook for the paddle tail swim bait and josh is tying on the spook walking bait that's what she looks like it's got red for the gills and everything i just finished tying the paddle tail swim bait on so you got the weighted hook in the swim bait, so you get two baits out in one. And Josh is still tying the the walking bait on. I might get going. Yep. Good call. <laughs> Got the long haul in, Jiminy. Fighting like sideways. Keep him up over that wood. Don't fight too hard. Don't fight too hard. Just kind of pull slow. There you go. Get him around that wood. There you go. That's a good fish. Keep him up. There you go. I'm going to net him. Oh, easy, easy, easy. That's a big one, dude. He's big. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Oh gosh. Yeah, he's a, uh, that's three for sure. Wow, that's heavy actually. <laughs> he is barely hooked. That was a good fight. So right there. And he is 17 inches. Seven, just over 17 inches. So he's a little over 17 inches. Good fish. I'd say he's not three. He's probably two and a quarter, two and a half. I got excited when I saw him. So now I just have to catch a fish on the swim bait. I'm gonna go right there on that wood and try to catch it then. Little one. Oh, never mind. He was just running at me. Last fish, up and in. Oh, don't, don't. There it is. Last fish of the slam. Caught in a little swim bait. 
Good slam, Josh. Yeah, great slam. Great slam. Even better. Hope you guys enjoyed our mystery tackle box slam. We All the baits worked really well. We got all the fish caught in under an hour of fishing. Uh, I believe we both really enjoyed doing these videos. So if you guys would like to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to us. We'll definitely do another one. Check the Instagram down below to see the biggest fish that we caught today. And that's going to do it all for us today. Hope to see you guys on the next video. Bye.